everybody, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie. And I have got an unbagging for you today. Um, this, I opened it to see what it is, so I don't waste any more time. <laughs> and this is um, from Home Fun Official Store. I ordered three paintings of the size 20 by 25. I ordered these October 13th, believe it or not. They shipped them October 15th, and they didn't arrive until November 16th. Yeah. Give me one second, and I'll hook up my microphone. I keep forgetting that. Okay, I hope that's better for you. Okay, let's open these up and see what we got. Okay, here's the three kits. Oh, they send the good bags that I like with the little white strips on them. Yep, all three of them. They have a three placer on the pins and they give you the silver tweezers and the larger of the white trays with the funnels. So I got the three, three of those. I actually have a place to put them, but now I can't find it. Oh, it's way over there on the other side of the room. Okay. All right, let's check this out. They put it on a nice thick roller and they banded them together with the white rubber band, the clear rubber bands. It still, it still left an indention. Uh, hope that didn't affect the canvas. Yeah, I know I'm opening it a little late. Today is uh, November, I don't even have, 24th? Yeah, it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So, nine days ago, they arrived. I've just had so much to do. I've really been wanting to open my packages, but time hasn't allowed it. All right. I don't know if I should leave them on the roller. Yeah. There, now you can see what the first one is. It's this little geisha girl. All three of them are geisha girls. Here, I'll show you a picture of this one. I paid $4.64 for each one. And they were so inexpensive, I figured oh, I might as well get three of them because there was so many of them that were cute that I liked. Yeah, they're all the same price. And they're all 20 by 25. So let us open this and see what we got. Um, there are 20 colors. It looks like, well, no, that's the other one. This one has 21 colors, which is kind of amazing considering it's black and white. I see a little pink in the hair, but, and they are round, full rounds. Okay, those are just rivers. They're not bubbling up, so they're good. And that's basically, that's just a, a river. Remember, rivers are good. I mean, they're not good, but they're, they're not harmful to the painting. Okay, so there is her hair. And I see very little as far as transition wise from her hair to this corner to just to differentiate um, between the actual hair and the background because it's all black this F color this is all black and it goes right into the background it doesn't actually change color or change um, 
some slight, some of this is bubbling slightly. Yeah, let's just pull this down a little further. Alright. It's still curled. That's pretty, pretty curled. Here you go. Here's the drill filled. I mean, they're easy to read. They've got the training wheels on. The little circles around the numbers and letters. So, yeah, basically this is really good. My only concern is right there where the hair ends and the corner starts. It, there's just no lines or anything to show that there's it's different that it's moved on to another. And over here, after the fan, behind the fan that's in her hair, you can actually see a difference because the color is different in the corner. That's cute. There's only two of that color, um, three, which is her lips. <laughs> There's only two of that color. On the entire painting at least that i can see i haven't looked at the very bottom but i don't imagine there's any pink on her feet i don't even think you can see the feet here let's see if we can get this flattened but those bubbles they're just they're just almost not even bubbles they're they're rivers that just overflowed a little bit So, yeah, that one color, there's only two in the entire thing. And, yep, there's a little bubbling going on here. I'll just have to take the X-Acto knife to it. And I, I tell you, it's the, the rollers, those foam rollers that they put them on that causes it. So putting them on an even larger roller doesn't make a difference. They still do this. Yeah. All right. So there's that one. Let's look at the drills for it real quick. They do have DMC numbers. Like I said, there's 21 of them. There's 16 bags of 310. And I am gonna, I know there's only 21 colors, but I'm gonna just fast forward this because we do have three of them to get through. And I don't wanna spend 10 minutes on each one, so. I will be right back after I verify that everything's here. All right, everything is here. I did notice that they use the bags that have the white background so that when they put the numbers on, they're very easy to read, no matter what color drills you have inside. Just for those that aren't aware, when you receive bags like this, these are equal to 500, um, I'm sorry, five bags of these smaller ones. So there are a thousand, approximately a thousand drills in one of these bags. Wow, those are crooked. They're not straight at all. The, the bags themselves, look at the, anyway, so five bags one of these is equal to five so that's five ten fifteen and one is sixteen so all of their the drills are here all right so as far as this one goes for a score we have a canvas condition i'm going to take half a point off for the bubbling so that gets one and a half for the canvas um, one for the, the clarity of the symbols, 
three for the drill inventory. Yes, it gets all three points for that, or two, sorry. Two points for drill inventory, three points for everything being included, canvas, drills, and tools, one for outside packaging, and one point for how the contents were packaged. So this gets a nine and a half out of 10. Right, so let's move on to the next one. Give me a quick second and this will be all cleared up. Okay, all clear. For the next one, we have this little beauty. She's a little geisha girl in a light blue dress with gray hair. Oh, let me show you here. I wrote my notes down ahead of time just because I was waiting for the room to be clear and I didn't want to waste any time. I've just written on here what my first impression is. I don't know what it is yet. My uh, last impression and the full rating will be the average of the two. And these are the things I write down. It came in a bag. It was on a foam roller. They have DMC codes. It has an inventory sheet and they, the bags are put the drills are put in bags of 200. So this, those are just the things I keep track of. The price, the size, how many colors, the order date, the ship date, the receiving date. Oh gosh, I'm just not in view. The receiving date, how many days total it took. It's a, if it's a full, round, partial, square, etc. I have the, where I bought it from, the store name, and the check mark means that it, I received it. So. Here is the next one. I just have a feeling they're all going to have the same bubbles on them because they were on the same roll. So I like to stick it under the edge of the table. Well, that one's upside down. Let's do it this way so we can see the head first. There we go. And I didn't measure the last one. I'll measure this one, but I'm pretty sure they're all the same size. So one will be good for the other. Look at my nails. They, I did, had all of them done, but they were, they were really crappy, um, nail stickers. And these ones, I had a super glue, on, but they still looked bad. So I pulled them all off except for those two. All right, here we've got the rivers going on. Yeah, those are just rivers. So I'm running my fingers, my finger across it. If it bubbles up, I can feel it. Um, these are almost bubbles. I mean, they're raised a tiny. Yeah, these are actually little bubbles. These little bubbles aren't really an issue. They can be drilled on, but some people still will want to cut them and lay them flat. And it'll all depend on once I start placing drills, if they stay down or not. If not, then I will cut the bubbles down. But there are definitely bubbles on here. Let's see what we can see in the... You can actually see it. It looks really good as far as the image. These don't need to be very big to get these this cartoony because they're really cartoonish. And to get that detail, you don't need really big diamond paintings. Oh, this is as far down as I'm gonna pull it. I will flip it around, but there's some bigger bubbles right here in the middle. Yeah, let's look. I didn't show the key last time, but the key's nice and big. Oh, camera. I get used to it being on one side and then I accidentally flip it over to the other side when I set it up. So yeah, this is nice and big canvas and it's all letters and numbers. That's, that's really good. There's no symbols in this one. And this one has 20 colors. And here's the drill filled. Same as the other one. It's got the training wheels and the color is nice and bright for the background color. So there'll be the area around the drills will be able to be seen to fill in the gaps. 
this is a really um, light colored painting, so a lot of the colors are pretty light. There's a few dark blues, but and some pinks there. But the rest is pretty light. Hmm. In fact, there is no 310s in this one at all. Let's just look at the bottom real quick. Measure it and we'll look at the drills. Yeah, more bubbles. This ones are a little bigger right here. Going through the rows. I probably will end up cutting these. So as far as the score goes, I am going to take off a half a point again on this one for the bubbles. I'm going to measure it. That is 20. And that is slightly under 25, so 24.9. So it's true to the measurement. Um, where is it? Okay, so it's 24.9. I do make a note of that just because um, when I go to frame it, or do whatever with it. I like to know the exact measurement so that, because you know, with framing and whatnot, you need to have exact measurements. So that's what that looks like. Now let's look at the drills. I did want to say on um, the first impression that I did on the One Self store, um, I had talked with him and there was a misunderstanding as far as how things are sold, um, how his measurements worked, how I measured it and it did not match what was on the canvas. Well, when he sells a painting, he sells a painting by the sticky area. So if you order a 40 by 40, uh, you're going to get a 40 by 40 sticking area, but the canvas is going to say 45 by 45 because that is what size the entire thing is um, with the border. But so that he, you know, he is an honest seller. He will sell them according to the sticking area. So if you buy a 40 by 40, you're going to get a sticking area of 40 by 40. And um, yeah, I, he's one of the stores that's so brand new that he is really doing everything he can to try and start getting a client base and I would just go check him out. Um, I'll leave his link down below so that you can um, check him out. He's uh, that's the store where I got the Gandalf. I mean not Gandalf. Oh my gosh. Dumbledore. The Dumbledore custom that I had made um, in a round. Round. Yeah it was a full round. Um, I had a 40 by 50 and he sent me a 45 by 55. So, uh, let's look at these. All right. The most we have of one color in this one is uh, 37.56, which I think is this blue. Nope. It's this white. Sorry. I should know that. So the white color, and there's five bags of it. Oh wait, there's seven of 38.65, which is another white color. I should, I, I know these, I know these things. Why am I, this is the one that has the green, the green, greenish tint to it, the 37.56, but it's easy to get these two confused. I mean, this is 38.65, transpose that's 65. 56, 65, 38, 37. Yeah. So that's the majority of the color in this one is whitish colors. Next to that is a green, green, four color, four of, 
This one, which is the 964, the so kind of a sea foam color. And then 958, there's three of those. And the rest have, uh, well, there's three of 5200, which is another white color. That's the pure white. So, yeah, the rest have two and one. So there's not too many um, variants on color in this one. I, I've actually done half of the inventory check right here. Those, the big ones. And I just, I'll be right back. And I'll have all this stuff uh, verified. And then we will go over the score. All right, so everything is here. And let's do the score real quick here. So the canvas condition, it's only gonna get one and a half out of two because of the bubbles. The clarity is good, so it gets the full point for that. And for the complete drill inventory, it gets two out of two for that. Uh, three points for everything being included. Yes, they, everything was there. So it gets three points for that. Outside packaging and inside packaging both get the one out of one. So the total we have here is a 9.5 out of 10. And I, don't, I think I went over everything, I believe. This is still curled a bit. These were really, really curled. So I will get this stuff cleaned up here and I will be right back with you. All right. All right, let's get to the final. Geisha Girl. This one has a bit more colors. This has 27 colors in it. And this will be my pink Geisha Girl. Even though it's more peach colored, I think. And yeah, same price. 27 colors. There's not much difference. This is what just the what it looks like and how many colors are used. Mm. I will, you know, when I go to frame them, I will remeasure because I didn't measure this one or the first one. I'm not going to assume, but I do know that they're, they're the right size for what they sold me. And that's the basic, um, that's just what I needed to get across in the first impression is whether they are the right size when it comes to um, framing. You got to be exact, so I would remeasure everything anyway. Looks like the adhesive got folded over or cut off just right there at the corner diagonal, but it's, I'll show you in a second. No, is it, it's actually folded under or over. It got folded over. Not a problem though, because it didn't hit any of the numbers. This has a little bit more background uh, images with all the little flowers. Oh, look, they have this line of her bangs, which is a dark, looks like a darker black on the picture. It looks like it's going to be blue in here. No, actually, that is 310. The rest of her hair is a mixture of two different colors. Wow, more than two because of this highlighting. So this should turn out pretty good with all the different, with all the confetti in it. There's a lot of bubbling going on though. Right through here. And these here are rivers. Rivers. Yeah, bubbles. Yep, so definitely has bubbles. So let's just look and see what we get as far as the image goes. Yeah, I can see that pretty well. I mean, they don't have mouths, so. Oh yeah, they do. It's just a tiny little 
where is her mouth? Her face ends right here. And she's supposed to have a little bit of a mouth there. Okay, so the U color, there's like five of them right in that middle spot. So I'm guessing that's the mouth. Yeah, that's a little pink color. But in this picture, you can't even see the mouth. I can see it in this though. You can see the little, little mouth. So let's look. Again, the key is pretty large, nice size. Very legible, all numbers and letters, which is awesome. And here's the drill field. Very legible. I'll show you the corner up here I was talking about. You can't even see it. Yeah, you can. You can see it. See how it's folded right on the edge there? So it's no big deal, but I pointed it out. So I figured you might want to see what I was talking about. The sticky goes just a little bit above the edge up here. It's very minimal on the side, on this side as well. Let's check the bottom. I know I didn't mention anything about the sticky area on the first one. What? Oh, this was underneath something. A squished drill. I thought I got something underneath the uh, cover. It's like, no. This one comes out a little further. About the same as the top. Mm, slightly more, actually. Not by much. I just wish there was a way we could find to keep these from bubbling because I'm sure they're, they're not bubbled when they put them on the roller. When they first print them, I'm sure they look pristine, but, and then once they, I think it may be because they're doing it too soon after printing because it's not giving it time to set because if they would let them set and then roll them over, I think that it might be an issue that they wouldn't have. Yep, there's a large bubble here. Lots of rivers though. Good thing those can't be seen after the drills are placed. But yeah, there's bubbles over here. Bubbling here and over here. So this one again will have ha half a point knocked off for canvas condition. So that is, we'll have one and a half points instead of two. The clarity of symbols, it gets the full point for that. Um, we'll check the drill inventory. Everything is included. And outside and inside packaging get the full one point. I'm just going over that now so we don't have to do it at the end. And after I count, check the drills, we will determine how many points it gets for the drills and then we'll know for the final score on this one. Definitely going to be pausing for this since there are 30, 27 colors. All right, so on this one, there's five of the 3865, which we know is the white color, the off-white color. There's five of 819, which is a pink color. And yeah, that's it. The rest have just one and two. Well, three of 964, which is a gray color. Let's see if I can find it. Here's 819, the pink color and here we go with nope that's not it did we say nine three four yeah I only have one two mmm well I'll let you know if I find the other one if there is another one if not <laughs> I don't know if I want to bother 
with ordering one bag. I just don't see the point. Um, I can check to see if I have it in my duplicates. So I'll be right back after I see if all the drills are here. I just found some beads. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. My drill finder. All right, now I'll be right back. All right, so we are missing one bag of 934. I will message the seller. Um, I'm not going to sweat it, though, if it doesn't, you know, get sent to me. Although I think they should. I'm not positive. I don't think that Home Fund has an issue with sending missing drills. But because of that, they do not get their full um, score for a complete drill inventory. They are going to have one point knocked off because they are missing, missing drills. So they only get one point for that. That means out of two, that means that they are missing one and a half points. So they only get an eight and a half out of 10 for this diamond painting. All right. So we've got Two nine out of two nine and a half out of tens and one eight and a half out of ten for Home Fun official store on AliExpress. So I have a, a question of the day for you because we are now finished with this. Um, let's see. If you could get rid of one habit, habit, what would it be? For me, my one habit would be vaping because, I mean, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it too much. I, I just enjoy the taste and it, and it has helped with me um, to avoid eating uh, as much as I would if I wasn't vaping. So that's why I began it to begin with was because I wanted to, you know, a little bit of help with my um, losing weight. So I started vaping and, you know, because I enjoyed it, the taste, it, it gets kind of spendy and that's why I want to, I want to stop, but I don't want to stop. You know what I mean? So it's one habit that I wish I could just get rid of that. I just wouldn't have the want or the desire, you know, maybe acupuncture can help with that for something. I don't know. So that's my answer. What is your answer to the daily question? Question of the day. Uh, if you could get rid of one habit, what would it be? If you could leave the comment, your answer to the comment down in the comment section down below on your way down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I, I don't expect you to hit the like button unless you really did like it. So, um, that's all I have to say for this video. Don't forget to have fun diamond painting and be sure to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.